And this journey, which will be 30 years on from the first journey we made in Antarctica, will be a demonstration of how a polar journey can entirely rely only on the use of renewable energy. Something no one's ever done. People rely today on fossil fuels out there. So it's a huge technical challenge. It's a challenge to actually, if you can work there, up on the great polar plateau at minus 50, this can kind of work on it. The aim is to make sure places like this, the Bellin Plaza base on King George Island, remain the only human presence on this vast continent. Many countries, including Britain, have claims to parts of Antarctica. But the international treaty that governs this place dictates that, for now at least, those claims are frozen, and it remains a protected region territory, preserved in its natural state. Mm. By making what he says will be his final polar mission, Swan hopes he'll help ensure that in 2041, the world will decide to leave the Antarctic Treaty untouched.